Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm really excited to show you guys today um, how I, when I bring home my chicken breast from the grocery store, how I cut it up and put it into bags so that I can grab it really easy. Um, whenever it comes time to cook. So I used to be super guilty of bringing my chicken breast home and just letting it sit in the fridge and it would either go bad or I didn't want to take the time to cut it up and cook it. So now what I do is I bring it straight home from the grocery store immediately, portion it out, put it into freezer bags, which is good for food safety reasons because this packaging lends itself to some bad bacteria breeding and things like that. So it's better if you can go ahead and transfer your meat into, um, you know, a uh, freezer bags like these or um, just a safe container so that you get it out of that packaging. So I'm going to show you guys really quick how to do that. So I've just got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I've got my cutting board and my knife. I've got a bowl. This is what I'm going to weigh my, um, my chicken breast in. And then I've got my food scale. I've got some Ziploc freezer bags that I've already opened since I'm going to have the raw chicken on my hands. Better to go ahead and open it up. And then just a Sharpie so that I can label it and then a bowl for my scraps for any of that extra stuff that I don't want. So just going to show you guys really quick how I do this. So I'm just going to pull one of these chicken breasts out. And for this week, I know that I need like 16 ounces for one recipe and then a few different like three ounce portions. So I'm going to just go ahead and get one of my three ounce portions. So I'll just cut away at the meat and cut off some of that extra stuff that I don't want um, and turn my food scale on. And it's already set to ounces, and so I've got my bowl, so it's zeroed out. So I'm just going to set it in the bowl, and I'm at about 1.8. I'm going to cut off another piece. And for this particular recipe, it doesn't need cut up into bite-sized pieces or anything like that. So if I did need that, I'd go ahead and cut it, but I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that in. So we're almost there, just a little bit more. So, all right, perfect, we're there. So all I'm going to do now is transfer it to the freezer bag. And then after I've cut up all of it, I will wash my hands and seal these up and then um, just write on there the three ounces, maybe what the recipe is um, or the specific recipe that I need it for, and then the date that it would be um, bad by, just in case I don't use it in time. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this. So you guys try this out. <laughs> 